Hi, this is Sunny Solanki and you are tuned to Coder's Column. This is the sixth video of our series on IPA widgets where I will be discussing how to style a widget. Generally, you might want to style a widget when you don't like the default layout of the widget. And you might want to change the background color, color of the widget, font size, font style and so on. In this video, I will explain you how to do that. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so as you can see on my screen, I already have a Jupyter notebook open and at the beginning of the notebook, I have highlighted important sections. So we will be covering how you can use a predefined style and there, there is a, another way to set style, which is using style attribute of a widget. So both of them I will be covering in this tutorial. Okay, so first of all, in this cell, I have imported IPy widgets as a widgets and printed the version. So this is the latest and stable version which I will be using in this tutorial. Okay, so first section is predefined style. So for button, let's say that I create a button like this, widgets.button and description is submit. So this is the submit button. And if I don't like this default look, so there is an attribute name button style, which I can set and it will change the style of this button so let me execute this and as you can see now this button looks quite uh, good and uh, because it has a green background and the color of the text is white so then there is a another attributes so another values which you can set for this attribute so another is a warning so let me set that and there is another button so yeah so pre in predefined style this button style attribute is available for button widget and it accepts this value success, warning, danger, primary and info and all of them uh, creates uh, different types of uh, buttons. So let me show you one more in case of uh, info. So as you can see here is a one more style and these styles of button are taken from uh, bootstrap framework which is a UI framework, CSS framework. All right, so let's move on to the next section. So in this section, I have explained how you can change the style using style attribute. And this is the most common and flexible way to change the style of any widget. So first of all, we will change the style of a button again. And in order to do that, first of all, I have created this uh, button style, button style object. So you can call widgets dot button style. And there are a few parameters of this uh, function which you can set. So button color you can provide, you can provide font size, you can provide font weight, you can also provide font style and so on. So once you define button style like this, when you are creating a button to style attribute, you can provide this button style. So let me execute this line of uh, code. And as you can see now, the button color is a tomato. Font size is 20 pixels, so it's uh, bigger than our previous fonts. And font weight is bold as well. So this is the one way of uh, setting style using this style attribute. Another way would be that first of all you create a button object, and then you call this by one dot style dot button color. So as you can see over here, I am I was giving button color, and we can set button color this way as well on style attribute. So over here I am setting on style attribute button color to tomato, font size to 20 pixel, font weight to bold and text color to white. There is also text decoration attribute which we can set to underline, overline, line through and so on. So let me execute this line of code. And as you can see now the text color is white, it's bold. So this is the most common way which I would suggest that you follow when you want to style any widget of iPy widgets. And if you want to know like how many attributes are available which you can modify for the particular widget so let's say that b1 is a button widget so you can call this b1 dot style dot keys if i execute this b1 dot style dot keys it will return a list from this list the attribute starting with underscore we can ignore but this attribute are we can set so button color font family font size font style, font variant, font weight, font color, text decoration. We can set this attribute. So these are the attributes. So if you want to know which attribute you can set for a particular widget, you can simply call that widget object dot style dot keys. 
and it will return you list of uh, attributes which you can set for styling that widget and if you want to give styling of one widget to another so over here i am creating v2 another button named reset and i want to set the style same as b1.style so we can do that as well so as you can see now reset has the same style as our v1 so if you have many buttons in your ui and you can declare style for one of them and then you can copy that style to all of your other buttons right so let's move on to next section so in this section i have declared a progress bar so let me show you so this is the default look of the progress bar and in case of progress bar there is an attribute name uh, bar color inside of style which you can set so let me set that and as i set it to lime this color of the progress bar is changed and as you can see in case of a progress bar there is attribute name bar color which we can change okay so next let's move on to next widget which is a range slider let me execute that so this is a range slider as you can see you can select a range of uh, integers and as you can see handle color is the attribute available to us which we can modify so let me set that to dodger blue and as you can see it changed from white to dodger blue let me change it to red and as you can see now the color is red okay so let's move on to next section which is toggle button so first of all let me create a toggle button and this is the default look of toggle button and let's see what attributes are available for us to modify and as you can see font family font size and so on different attributes are available let's modify some of them i will change the text color font size and font weight right so as you can see text color is red it's a 20 pixel and it's bold as well let's move on to next section which is toggle buttons so over here i have created a toggle buttons of three toggle button male female and other gender so i can select any of the toggle buttons let's see what attributes are available to us so button width and font weights are available to us so i have set font width to bold and button width i have increased a little bit to 250 pixel so let's see how it modifies our widget yeah so as you can see now the width of the buttons have increased all right so let's move on to next widget which is a checkbox so this is a checkbox widget and as you can see we can check which uh, styling attribute we can modify so it's say we can only modify background color so let's set the background color to tomato and yeah as you can see the background color is changed so if you want to modify the background color of checkbox then you can do this style dot background equal to and then you can set the color okay so let's move on to our next section where uh, i'm modifying the styling of a text box and text area so first of all let me create a text box so as you can see over here i have created text box with the default text john wick and let me see which attributes i can modify so background font size and text color these three attributes i can modify so over here that's what i am doing i am modifying background to lime and font size to 20 pixel and text color to tomato so let's see how it's changing the widget as you can see background color is modified font size has increased to 20 and the font color is changed to tomato as well and in this cell i am creating a text area so let's see as you can see this is the text area widget let's see which attributes we can modify so it has the same attributes like a text box which we can modify let me do that and as you can see now the background color font size and font color is changed all right so let's move on to our last widget for this tutorial which is a html widget so you can create a html widget using widgets.html function and then you can provide html to it so i have provided h1 tag over here with welcome to coders column and let's see which attributes we can modify for this widget and it says that we can modify background font size and text color so let's modify those attributes so i have set background color uh, to lime font size to 20 pixel and text color to tomato so let me execute that line of code and see how it's uh, changing our this html widget all right so as you can see it changed the background color and it changed the font size as well and it changed the font color as well 
now this is the html widget so in case of uh, html widget you can provide this style attribute as well so you might not need to provide this uh, styling detail you can set style from here as well and this is only valid for html because html let us provide style data so that's what i, I have done over here i have set color to tomato for h1 tag and the background color to lime font size to 40 pixel font weight to bold and font style to italic let me execute this line of code and as you can see now this one looks uh, different from our uh, previous html all right so that's it for today's tutorial if you have any doubts or any question then please feel free to let me know in the comment section if you liked our video then give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and see you next time